I found this project extremely interesting in several ways. First of all, because the crisis that we're facing is one which has so many different facets. And the different policy areas which we've dealt with in this uh, project uh, reveal that you can't come at the problem in the same way in each of the policy areas. So they're all very different and they're different types of crises and the way this project has uh, worked out is that the differences become very, very clear. Uh, for my own um, policy area, which is security and defence, it really doesn't fit uh, the institutional logic which is at the heart of the project because the institutional problem is not the essence of the problem of common security and defence policy. It really is a problem of political will, of lack of strategic vision, of profound divisions between the member states over the objectives, the scale, the ambition, uh, and the direction of any conceivable common security and defence policy. I think at the present juncture, which is uh, marked by serious crises all around the periphery of the European Union, basically from the Arctic to the Black Sea and from the Bosphorus to the Atlantic, there are uh, endless series of crises popping up all over the place. And therefore the uh, imperative of a common security and defence policy is uh, inescapable. The tragedy is that for the moment there is absolutely no uh, unity, uh, no leadership and very little effectiveness. And this is something which um, in the context of now the unfolding crisis in Iraq uh, is bound to impact on Europe unless um, we can somehow or other get member states to agree on a minimum of a strategic objective. This is something I haven't yet begun to talk about, but I think it emerges uh, uh, strongly from the logic of this particular research project.